remember, ever get a standing ovation again. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm so confused. Chaperone, please give me some advice that is coherent and appropriate to the situation. Should I marry Robert? Okay, now here it comes. The moment I was telling you about. Not only the culmination of the plot, but a moment that has fascinated me more than any other and has brought me back to this record again and again. And this is it. Listen. Well, here's my advice to you. Listen. Believe what you can. You see? You can't quite make out what she said because somebody drops a cane. I'll play for you again. What you can. <laughs> is she saying live or leave? I'll play again. Boy, you can. <laughs> I mean, it's Beatrice Stockwell, so it might just be her cynical quip. But this is a wedding, after all, and isn't that what you think when you're standing up there at the altar? To live or to leave? An arrow just doesn't fall out of the sky and point you to the one you're supposed to be with. It's not an exact science. So, one day you say, I love you, and you basically phrase it as a question, but she accepts it as a fact. And then suddenly there she is standing in front of you in a $3,000 dress with tears in her eyes and her nephew made the hook and then... <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you do? Do you say I was kidding? I was joking? No, you can't! You live. You choose to live and for months you stare at the alien in the bed beside you and you think, who are you? Who are you? Until one day you say it out loud. And then it's a trial separation and... <laughs> Redefining and revisiting, and then your, all your conversations end with your eating disorder and your Zoloft addiction. <laughs> and so finally, you, you lose the deposit on the house, and the whole relationship ends on a particularly ugly note with your only goddamn gypsy spinning through the air and smashing against the living room wall. <laughs> Still, I suppose it's better to have lived than left, right? Why you can. You don't know how many times I've listened to that. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose, Chaperone, you have a way with words. Yes. Robert, my answer is yes, I will marry you. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Well, <laughs> oh, Mr. Felsick, seems like the wedding's a done deal. Now you're in the trouble. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. But there is. I found a replacement, a new leading lady.